This is the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. This time around, we're going to have a quick look at password recovery, in particular on the ICX series, but it is the same methodology for the MLX, EEC, RZS, etc. So, um, so let's say we've we have a password on our device, and uh, you know we go try to go to enable mode. Nobody knows the password. Um, so the first thing you're going to need is physical access to the device. You obviously can't type the reload command. It's not available at, the, uh, at this point. So you need to physically power the device on, off and on. And then you're going to need console access uh, in order to get into the boot monitor and, and make the changes appropriately. So we are going to quickly power cycle that device. And then um, it's going to come up and tell you to press B to go to boot monitor. There it is. So enter B to stop a boot monitor. And then when I press B, it's going to uh, put me in this in this boot prompt. So there's many things I can do from this boot prompt. Um, you can load new code. You can um, you know look at the flashes, etc. However, the vast majority of the things in here are um, should not be handled by um, untrained users. This is for TAC only. So if TAC tells you to make some appropriate changes, then do so. But otherwise, uh, you could end up uh, causing some, some, some permanent damage to your device by erasing all the flash, etc. So um, what we're going to do here is we just need to do a no password. So I type no password, and then it says OK to skip password check when the system comes back up. So from here, all we have to do is reload our device, uh, not power cycle. You need to, to do a, a, a warm reload in order to get it into this, um, into the no password state. So um, what, we're, what we're just going to do is we're just going to boot the device like this. Um, now, we could have had it boot from, from a different image, but it's going to boot from the primary code. Um, and so once it boots up, there's going to be no password on it. So you'll just be able to go into enable and then change your password, um, do a write memory after you change your password, and reload again. Uh, do not leave the system in that password recovery state because you could run into some issues if you exit out and try to try to re-enter the device even after you're changing your password. So, um, so make your changes, do a write memory, and reload to get back into a normal operating state. But that's it. Easy as that. So thanks for joining, and we'll see you again.